Hey guys, it's me, Madeline. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to find your mid-sets. Woohoo! I realize that many of us use the mid-set app for iPhone, but for those of us with an Android, we don't have that. And also, I think it's pretty important to calculate your mid-sets by hand or in your mind because it allows you to visualize the mid-set. As you get better at using the skills I'm about to teach you, you'll be able to easily calculate mid-sets on the spot. So the first thing that I'm going to go over will be how to visualize mid sets. And then I'll do a few examples of easier mid sets and harder mid sets. So when you think about any coordinate plane, and in our case it's going to be a football field, you think about your drill as on the x and y spectrum. For any dot you have, whether it's a starting point or an ending point, you have a change in X and a change in a Y. So let's say that this was your X1 and this is your Y1. This is your X2. That's your Y2. Well, basically what your midpoint is, is halfway between those two right there. That's your midpoint. So if you can think about it, in terms of let's say this move right here when you were moving to this dot to this dot was eight counts your mid set is basically where would you find yourself at four counts it's a really useful tool for being able to clean your drill really quickly so i'm going to start off with a pretty easy example let's just say our first dot is on the 50 yard line and six behind the front side line. And then let's say our second dot is splitting the 50 and the 45 and it's 12 behind the front side line. Well, that's not so bad. Let's just calculate this mid-set, huh? So the first thing that we want to do right now is work with our side-to-side. -side. It's usually much more intuitive. Obviously, if we, our change in X is a total of 4, we start on the 50-yard line, which we can represent with a number 0, and we end up 4 away from the 50-yard line because that is what splitting is. 0 plus 4 is 4. We moved a total of 4 8-5 to five steps side-to-side. -side. So halfway through that would be 4 over 2, which is 2. So our mid-set coordinate starts with 2 outside the 50. What's our y-coordinate? Well, let's find out right now. So we started at 6. We ended at 12. How much distance did we move? Well, let's just subtract 12 and 6 real quickly. Oh, look, we get 6. We moved a total of 6, 8 to 5 steps backwards. So, is our mid set 6? Is that right? No. For front to back coordinates like this, you actually have to add it like this. So, if our total is 6, our halfway point is 3. Is our midpoint 3? Three? 3? No. You have to add it to your original. So 6 plus 3 is 9, which means that halfway through this move, we're going to be 9 behind the front sideline. Cool, let's move on to another example, a harder example. Let's talk about mid-sets that cross yard lines. I'm actually going to use my own drill for this example. So, let's just draw the field real quick. Okay, so, my drill, I start 
Two outside of the 25. Side one. This is not to scale. After 16 counts, I end up on the 35 to up behind the front side line, which is also where I started. As you can see, I'm traveling in a horizontal line. So no matter how far I travel along the x-axis, I will always be 12 from the front side line. That's easy. Let's write our midside coordinate. 12 behind the front side line. So what is this one? Well, it looks like we cross a couple yard lines, don't we? Let's account for that. I would take two steps to get to the 25 yard line. And from there, I would have to take eight steps to get to the 30 and eight more steps to get to my ending spot, which is at the 35. We can just add together the total distance that I travel in the move, 2 plus 8 plus 8, which is 16 plus 2, and that's 18. That's the total distance I travel in 8 to 5 steps. Divide that by 2 to get 9, and then you're like, what? How is your mid set 9? That doesn't make any sense. Where is 9? Well, let me show you. You can just take 9 in reference to where you started. So, I have to make 9 steps in order to get halfway. Here's 2 of them. And here's seven of them. Two plus seven equal to nine. And if these are eight to five, eight, eight to five steps apart, then I have one step remaining. Which means that I am one outside the 30. And that's my mid set. Cool. Now let's talk about mid sets that involve complex front to back. Again, I'm going to use an actual coordinate for my own drill. So all of us will encounter drill that in one of the coordinates will reference the front or the back hash, but then in the next coordinate it will reference the front or the back sideline. But never fear. A little bit a field knowledge is all you need to succeed in calculating mid-sets like these. Always remember that between the front side line and the front hash, there are 32 steps. And between the back side line and the back hash, there are also 32 steps. And between these two hashes, there are 20 steps. That's all we need. Let's continue. In my very own drill, I have a coordinate where I start on the side 140, actually technically one and a half steps outside of it, that's that value, and also 10.5 from the front side line. And then my next coordinate I'm 0.5 inside of the 40, and I'm 14 from the front hash. Eh. And you're like, Madeline, what the heck? This one's a front sideline, and that one's a front hash. How do I do it? It's pretty easy. Let me just like explain this to you right now. Remember how I told you that there were 32 steps between the front sideline and the front hash? Well, your drill coordinate sheet is never going to tell you anything in reference to the front hash if it's more than 16 steps away from it. So, if that's the front hash, 16 is the middle. I did not draw that line in the right spot. That's okay. 16 is the middle. So this 14 right here, that's two away from the middle. This 10.5 is 5.5 from the middle. So you might think originally that you should subtract 10.5 from 14, but that is incorrect because you have to remember that they're in reference to different parts of the field. So the total distance that I travel in this set front to back would be 2 plus 5.5. 
And I do that because the distance that I traveled from 10.5 to this midpoint 16 is five and a half step. And then I need two more steps to get to my next front to back, 14. And so two plus five and a half. Uh, y is equal to seven and a half. So is that my min set? Nope. What you must do from there is divide that by 2 to get your midpoint, right? 7.5 divided by 2 is equal to 3.75. Now all you have to do is add it to your original value. I started at 10.5 behind the front side line. I move, for my mid set, a total of 3.75. You end up at 14.25 at the halfway point. 14.25 what? Well, it's behind the front sideline, and I know that because this number is not greater than 16. If it was greater than 16, I would have had to add this number in reference to my front hash number, which was 14. Remember, you don't want a number between the front sideline and the front hash, or the back sideline and the back hash, that's greater than 16 for a midset. And between the hashes, you don't want a number that's greater than 10 because that's just useless. You're not using the closest reference point. So that's about it for my video. I hope that was interesting and understandable and I hope that you had a great time as I did.